Hi, thrifty friends. It's Laura. I hope you're all doing well. I am getting down into the Christmas spirit. I got my decorating done. I have my cubbies over there. I'll do maybe do a little video later and show some of the decorating that I've done. I had a load of fun doing it. Now that's done. I got to get into the wrapping and all that good stuff. But I treated myself to a lovely Christmas mug. So I have two of my favorite things here, a red barn and coffee. So uh, I always say after my first sip of coffee, the elixir of life. <laughs> it keeps me going. So I'm going to show you a few random things. I, I did a tiny bit of shopping on the weekend and I had a couple of things that I've had around for a bit. So I just do a bit of a catch up as well. I picked her up at a little flea market in our area and they do a a color on the tag and then one week that color is half price. So I got her for $2.50. She was originally five. Now I saw Scott's curiosity shop. He picked up three of these quite a while back and <clears throat> in his comments, he wasn't sure about them and the people in the comments um, weren't that uh, sure about them either. So someone suggested storybook doll, but I looked up storybook dolls and they have a, um, they're a bit more immature. This She looks like a young woman, doesn't she, with her face. And the storybook dolls are more childlike and maybe a little bit pudgier. A little bit uh, pudgier. Yeah, that's good. So um, if anybody has any idea about her, I did read something about a doll. It didn't give a name, but it was sold sort of it, mostly in like a crafts situation. And then you were to dress it yourself. So she does look like this might be, you know, a homemade outfit. And the ones that Scott had all had different outfits on. So that's a possibility. But if anybody can help me out with her. And I'm just going to, I think, keep her. I kind of like her. I like her face. She's got a lovely face. And she, her eyes close when she lays down. Isn't that cute? Okay, so a child at heart. Here I am. Um... If any one of my watchers are Canadian, you'll recognize this tag. Okay, uh, when we ordered from the Sears catalog, everything you ordered came with this tag on it. So in a bag of salvage goodies from my girlfriend uh, came this bag with five, five yards, I think it's five yards of this lovely fabric. So look at this. Show you a bit more. And it's brand new, brand new in the package. So I think I will steal a bit for myself and then maybe sell a bit in my store. But I just love the colors. It screams the 70s. Just gorgeous. Oh, look at her being scared of the bee. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that came in the salvage from my girlfriend. And this came in the salvage from my girlfriend. This is a McLeod tartan. It's a man's kilt. Uh, it is wool. It's beautifully made. Has the leather straps. It's a really good size. I haven't measured it to see what size. 45? Is that what it is? Anyway, they're quite adjustable. Uh, the reason this has some value to me is not because that's my tartan. My clan is Fraser. But um, in Perth, which is a town near me, they have a kilt run. And it raises money for some charity. I can't remember which one. Uh, but it's huge. It's gotten really huge. They have thousands of people who come to run in the kilt run in Perth. And it's quite a spectacle. It's really fun to watch all these people huffing down the street. And it's in July and they're in wool kilts. <laughs> yeah, so I enjoy watching it. You wouldn't catch me running in it. But anyways, that I will put in my booth in next spring because there's always people looking for um, the kilts for the kilt run. And okay, the other day I just popped into a, a store that I was close by and I wasn't really going to buy anything, but I spied this. Okay, and this one's in much better shape. That one's in terrible shape. 
And I have seen somebody, I can't remember who, who has put the bulbs. This is some of the bulbs. They've put the bulbs in pretty um, glass containers. I just washed them all up. They were pretty dusty. And, uh, and I just thought, oh, I have to do that. I love that. And I remember these bulbs on our trees. So I, I did pay up for those. I paid 10 bucks for those. So that was a bit of a crazy moment. I probably shouldn't have done that, but I'm going to look on Pinterest and see some uh, crafts and stuff that I can do with them. And maybe next year I'll sell some in my booth. <clears throat> so that was my mad moment. Now I told you in one of my other videos that I'm doing, um, kitschy, fun souvenirs of all the provinces and territories of Canada. So I found this in a store the other day. So this is an older map. And, and I said, I was wrong. I said 10 provinces and two territories. We now have three territories. There's one called Nunavut that came about in the late 90s. So Nunavut sort of in this area, way up, way up high in the Arctic area. But that's a cool old map of Canada. So that'll go in my Canada Day displays. It actually came with, it's a, a puzzle. So um, I don't know if I'll do anything with the puzzle. But this is my latest addition to my cute little kitschy finds for the provinces and territories of Canada. That's Digby, Nova Scotia. And it's Norton Ware made in England. Just a cute little dish to put a ring on or... Or your earrings, which I don't wear, but... All right, there's just a few other little things here. I just thought this was too adorable for words. I think I got this at the Sally. And it was on half price. So, no, it wasn't half price that week. So I did pay two fifty dollars for it, and it's a Rielpo. So I thought that was pretty neat. And I always liked those. All the years I worked at the Sally, I'd see those and I'd oh, they're so pretty, but I don't know anybody's having a baby, blah, 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 blah. And then I thought, well, you know what? I just really like that. And I think it's just a nice spring decoration and put a wee plant in it or something. So I'm going to have that and enjoy it. Am I selling anything yet? <laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry. I got to reach down. I just thought this was cute. And, uh, had to have it. Oh. The real one's asleep on the bed over here. Now, I took a notion the other day that I wanted an address book. My phone is old. My car is old. And if something happens to my phone, all those, everybody's numbers are in there. So I can't even go into or ask somebody if I can use their phone and then call somebody because I don't remember their numbers. Plus, I want to try to get sending Christmas cards a bit more. So I just grabbed this, I think it was 50 cents or a dollar, and it's a, it's, it's a address book, which you never see anymore, anywhere, because everybody keeps everything in their phones, and it has a really good supply of extra papers in the back. So that's going to be a quiet afternoon. I'm going to start collecting everybody's addresses and phone numbers, and then I'll have them in one place, and if I'm going on a, a trip in my car... I can pop it into my purse and I'll have that security if uh, something happens with my car. And this is a greeting card organizer and it does have everything in it but the first few pages were kind of bent so I've got them sitting under a pile of books just to get, uh, get unbent. And so it's got the, the month and all the dates you can put people's names on and then the pockets where you can put a few cards in and then you go on to the next month it's a really cute little book it's got a little bit it's a little bit dirty i can just wipe it off but it'll help get me organized i it, i think that, that as the new year looms we all think we've got to get organized or at least i do anyways I think, oh, i've got to get this organized and i've got to get that organized and sometimes over Christmas, there's a bit of a lull. So you get a chance to get a few things done, don't you? So. Oh, I love that red barn. That's so cute. And in my bathroom, I have 
my art gallery is in my bathroom and I have a lot of these older prints in my bathroom. So when I saw this one and I think they had a dollar on it, I grabbed it. I just think it's so sweet. And it's the verses to the one who loves this when fortune's bright, but more when the sky is overcast, whose heart reveals yet never conceals our mother first and last. Isn't that sweet? Yeah, and that was my mom. And there's a there's an old stamp on the back too, which oh it's a white breasted nuthatch it says on the back of it. There is a really really good channel if any of you are at all interested in history or stamps. It's called Exploring Stamps. It's a fabulous young man and he does a great job. And even though I don't collect stamps, I do have a few for my junk journaling. Um, I find his pod, or his uh, channel really fascinating. If you ever get a chance, check him out. Okay, and okay, this also is in the vein of I'm getting behind and I need to get organized. It's just a photo album. It, I think it holds like, th uh, not thousands, but 600 photos or something. It's, it's from Kohl's, but it's in really good shape. And what I'm going to do, I'm getting so far behind in my scrapbooking that I'm going to start putting pictures in here and just writing the little something. Because, you know, I'm getting to that age where I think if something happened to me, people would be looking at these pictures and wouldn't know. The kids wouldn't know where they were, or what they were doing or whatever. So this is also, I have to call this my getting organized video. All right, and two more things. How's my time doing? Oh, I'm, I'm not doing too bad. I love these old prints. Isn't that beautiful? And I was thinking that I might sort of cut it down, fold it, and this could be the cover of a junk journal. Just one of those prints on a bit of cardboard. So that's a bit of inspiration. This will just go in my booth. I paid 50 cents for it, and I can usually sell them for about 350 in my booth. So um, it's in very nice condition. And, okay, Jiminy, I did it. I did it. <laughs> the box is empty. <laughs> well, thank you for joining me, and I hope you guys are getting ready for the Christmas season and don't feel rushed and crazy. I am um, I I didn't get out my cards the way I wanted to this year but I'm not going to kick myself about it I'm just I'm looking after two toddlers and something's got to give so um just enjoy and have a great Christmas if I don't see you hopefully maybe once before uh, Christmas day comes along so take care everybody we'll talk again soon